I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you the proper way to not break cases because apparently you guys are breaking too much. I don't know why, I don't know how come of the training or what. First, you want it, it's, it's also for your back so you won't mess it up. You wanna grab two cases. And this is what you don't wanna do, because then that just takes more time. And then you're in a hurry that you don't even notice that you do it again. And then second, time is the charm. Oops. Did you guys see what happened? I sure did. I was going as fast as I can, right? I pull it, this one falls, I fix it, I pull it again, it falls instead of just grabbing this one, fixing it. Reason why it happens, not all pallets are the same. Some come different, some come down, straight, this way, it just depends. The best way to do this is just to lift a little bit, bring it close to the edge of the pallet, then you lift, gently, then you fix it. Gently throw them, slide them over. This goes from my morning, on my night pickers, I see this. Like, we're not trying to make noise here. We're just trying to get the job done. You're still breaking stuff? Damn. Come on, silly. Maybe one of the reasons why you're breaking stuff is because you're in a rush. You just throw as you go, right? Don't even fix it. Just keep going. It's that extra dollar that gets you going, right? Okay. It only takes 10 seconds. You don't need it to be pretty. Just want it to be a little straight. And then you can keep going. Like I said, it only takes a couple of seconds just to fix it. The reason why we tie it in, because once you get the first two layers in, then you can just follow that pattern. See, you know, there's not much moving. There's not much going at it, but if you're not tying it in, you push this one a little bit, you're thinking, oh, that's perfect right there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Nothing's gonna happen until you go forward. First two pallets, ooh, careful there. You don't want that. Remember, wrap your pallets, three on the top, three on the bottom. You know, then do it. Three on the top, three on the bottom. Don't wait until product's done on the floor. I should have wrapped it. No, just do it. Tie in. Hey guys, has this ever happened to you? When you have a whole bunch, I call that luck. No, it's not the claw guy's fault, but I'm gonna give you two tips on prevent from this to tip over. One, wrap it, three on the bottom, three on the top, you know, do it. Sheesh. Okay, second one, once you finish wrapping it, don't follow the same pattern. Break it, break it. Put one here, put one here, break it. Just do it to something different. But the best one that's gonna help you is wrap your pallets. Three on top, three on the bottom. And no more spills. No more extra time on cleaning. That's the kind of guy I am. I'm a nice guy. And I give you tips on how to not break pallets. <laughs>